Thank you. <laughs> Good afternoon, my lovelies. Today is Monday, May 10th, 2021. The current temperature today is 14 degrees Celsius, 57 degrees Fahrenheit. We are up in the city's far north end. And since I didn't get out this weekend because it was raining and cold, we're going to go for a walk today. I am at the entrance to Merv Sullivan Park here in the North End. It's quite the hill in the winter time. It's where uh, a lot of kids go coasting. And there is a uh, ball diamond there as well. We just got off the number seven bus. And I think today we're gonna go to a look off. But just go exploring the uh, little bit of the north end while we're here. Sorry, I just realized I still had my mask on. <laughs> Didn't mean to sound so muffled. We're just following this path down the hill. Oh, this cute little doggy. <laughs> oh, hello, hello. You want to be on? Look, you're on the camera. <laughs> hmm. Aunt Judy's so cute. You are a little puppy, a little greyhound puppy. <laughs> What's your name? Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can get him on. I have to zoom out. I didn't realize I was still on the zoom. He's just so jumpy. Look at this little guy. Oh my god. We're making friends. <laughs> what a doll. He is just a little puppy and it's a greyhound puppy. And he's got his little sweater on. Not sure if it's a big thing in other cities, but down here in the Maritimes, we do adopt a lot of retired greyhounds from racetracks from the States, mostly from either Florida or Massachusetts. But that was just so cute seeing a little one. Oh my gosh. I tried to get him on camera, so I'm sorry if uh, I got distracted because I was petting him. So I do believe this hill <laughs> was uh, carved out due to the uh, Halifax explosion. Because it is quite the... Uh, the jaggedness. There's some apartments up there and the ball diamond, but that hill that uh, we just came down is quite steep. There they are. Um, that is where the kids go coasting every winter. Kiddo used to go coasting in this park with his dad when they were small because his dad used to live in this area. Oop, I'm just switching hands here. This bridge that you're seeing is the A. Murray McKay Bridge. It is the second bridge that spans the harbor. We have two. This is the one that you can't walk across. It's I'll not tell you this because it's not pedestrian friendly. The speed limit as far to my understanding it's 70 kilometers an hour than the McDonald Bridge which is 50 so you can just go a little bit faster which is the plus 20. That's kiddo telling you all about the bridge. <laughs> and 
the total length of the bridge is 1.6 kilometers long, so that's almost a mile, you can say. Yeah. See, kiddo is a wealth of information. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. There's a little playground. So that connects the north end of Halifax to the north end of Dartmouth, the bridge, namely the um, Burnside Industrial Park. That's where a lot of uh, warehouses and trucking companies and a lot of industrial places are. So that gives them a chance to connect to the city. And there's only um, rush hour buses that will go through that, uh, go on that bridge. So just here we're at, looking towards the intersection of Newberry, Newberry Street. Is it Newberry Street? Yeah, it is and Kencrest Avenue. Looks like they are going to be putting in like a garden or That's some, maybe some flowers. There's no uh, pathway for us to walk, so we are kind of walking on the grass. All right, so what this is, according to the sign that's crooked because it's on a hill, this space is becoming a naturalized area to support pollinators, encouraging biodiversity, build resilience in the landscape, and celebrate nature in our parks. Very nice, very nice. For more information, halifax.ca Save the bees. We need the bees. If we don't have bees, we don't have food because they pollinate the, uh, they pollinate everything. So now we are on Kencrest Avenue. we should cross the street. We'll cross. It's not a busy street. No, it's pretty quiet. The bus that we just got off of does loop around. Now this street here is Mont Blanc Terrace. It is like a little cul-de-sac. Mont Blanc named after one of the ships from the Halifax explosion. I do believe the little street that's called Emo, I-M-O, not with an E, is not that far away from here behind us. It's a cute little, little neighborhood. There's a cute little house right there. And the house beside it with uh, lots and lots of flowers in their front garden. Very nice. quiet little neighborhood up here.
considering that to my left and down the hill is busy Barrington Street. Barrington stretches from the McKay Bridge all the way down to the south end where that tunnel was that I showed in the live stream. an overcast day but it's muggy the humidity is in the air notice there that uh, a house <laughs> got t taken down so that's a shame unless they're going to be building something new so we did walk up a slight hill Hopefully, it doesn't rain today. Because I don't have an umbrella with me. I got caught in the rain Saturday morning on my way to the grocery store. I was a little soaked. And the bus that we... Uh, just got off, just drove past. When Kiddo was little and his dad lived up in this area, we would uh, trick or treat. This was another trick or treating neighborhood. And he made out like a bandit. Now the place that we're going to head to, I'm, I've never been here before, so that will be quite interesting to, uh, to see. Lots of tulips. So there is a great big power line going towards Tufts Cove in Dartmouth for Nova Scotia Power. And you can see the bridge. There are some trucks going across. There's another number seven that have, the number seven is like a loop. They should label it 7A and 7B because they uh, both end up down here, but they take two completely different routes. And I realized I forgot to put my Fitbit back on. You can see the bridge. Thank goodness we're going down. So, we are going to the Africville Lookoff Park. Africville was a neighborhood in the city from all the way up until the 1960s. It was a predominantly black neighborhood. And during the 60s, the city 
took their land to uh, build the bridge because they knew that this was coming and also for the Fairview Cove container terminal. Oh, this is freaky deaky. We are underneath the bridge. There is a catwalk up here and there are some workers that are here doing some work. But that's kind of a neat uh, viewpoint looking straight across. Please, bridge, don't fall on my head. So, uh, Africville was uh, basically, yes, they lost their homes and they were uh, moved to another area of the city on Uniac Street in the off Godigen. And that is where a lot of people uh, reside now. So, we're going to go up. So we're going to go and take a look at this uh, little look-off area. Not too bad, how are you? So like I said, this is my first time around here. But kiddo's been here before, haven't you? Yo, when I was a kid, my dad always took me down here. And you took Bryn? Yes. Bryn's the girlfriend. There is a little path down there. I'm not sure where that will go. Uh, my, I think it will just go towards where that huge steep ramp is. Which is okay, so it goes out to the uh, the ramps to the bridge. So this is like a little look-off park. little bench up there. You can still see some of the, well, there's an apartment complex there up on North Ridge. There's part of the bridge. So, a lot of what we call, well, they are the African Nova Scotian families. We, they were displaced by the city. No questions asked, the city just took their land. And a few years ago, they did get um, an apology from the Prime Minister, the Premier, for what happened, as well as some compensation, but really a little too late.
in my opinion. So we are at the far north end of the peninsula. Wild and untamed up here. But they are um, we're overlooking the Bedford Basin. There is some construction down here. I don't know if it's because they're expanding Fairview Cove Container Terminal or what the situation is. So the story of the history really of Africville is a blight on Halifax's history. So you can see a couple of the cranes for Fairview Cove in the distance. So we're smack dab between two ramps. We have the on-ramp to my left that will get you back up onto the, uh, the McKay Bridge. And to my right is the um, off-ramps. Oh, I see, I see a little robin red breast. I'll probably spook it if I get too close. He might fly away on me. So at one time, before the ramps were built and before the bridge was built, this was part of the community. There is more to the community down on the other side of the, the ramp. I'm going to see how close I can get to the little robin red breast. Oh, he flew. He flew away. I have a glare on my little view screen. So that kind of makes it a little tricky to um, see what I'm doing here. But it appears to be in the Bedford Basin that's straight ahead that there is a Navy ship. Now at some point in the Bedford Basin, I do believe the depth goes to at least between 450 and 500 feet deep. So it is a quite a deep basin. Okay, he flew from the tree back down onto the ground. I don't know where Kiddo went off to. I don't see him anywhere, but I have my phone with me, and I do have, uh, I left the ringer on, that way if he has to text me, I'll hear it, and I'm sure you guys will too, because his ringtone for text messaging is the old ICQ sound. <laughs> I did download that for my phone the other day and I was like, Mark, you got to hear this little uh-oh sound. <laughs> and he was like, I want that as mine. So kind of beats the fart sound that I had for him. Yes, I'm that mom. My son had a, uh, his text tone was a fart. Let's go up this little hill. My butt needs to climb more hills. I 
So if he does text me, you're going to hear the uh -oh. that noise instead of of a fart. Yes. This is kind of neat. Little outcropping of, uh, of rocks. Yes, I am stopping because I'm taking a little break. <laughs> actually, no, I was actually doing really good climbing the hill. I just saw those rocks. Because just the, uh, the formation of them, they look like they were purposely put there. the hill I climbed. I'm not panting, I don't think. Another little path. It's nice, like I know we had rain this weekend. But it was uh, quite nice to see the uh, leaves are coming out. Um, usually by the May 2-4 weekend, leaves are in full bloom. That's how I always gauge the leaves. Right. You know what? This, this kind of looks like a cute little date spot. Just come, sit on the bench, canoodle with a person. This could be, ooh, this could be a kissing rock. You never know. Oh. I've been watching too many romantic comedies on Netflix and Amazon Prime. Surprisingly, I haven't been watching any of the uh, Hallmark movies. So yes, you can still quite hear traffic. In all the years, in all the years that I've lived in the city, I have never been here. And I've been here since 96. So I'm quite, I like this park. Bevy, hold still. This might be, fingers crossed, my thumbnail. Wouldn't that be a really amazing thumbnail? Yeah, there 
is another little robin redbreast. I'm fully zoomed in at two times. Oh, there's another little robin redbreast. Check out the dandelions. Dandelions are not weeds, in my opinion. They're pollinators. I'm trying not to step on a whole bunch because they are in little clusters. So off in the distance there is the Bedford Institute of Oceanography, the bio, as well as the Canadian Coast Guard fleet. All right, my lovelies, I am going to end this here and I hope you enjoyed this walk. I'm going to have a little drink of water and have a snack and text kiddo to find out where he is. So thank you for watching. <laughs> I do have, if you do want to support my channel, I do have links down in the description for my PayPal and my Patreon. And I'm now offering channel memberships. That is uh, new to me within the last week and a half, two weeks. I do want to give a shout out to my Spring Garden Road tiered Patreons, which are Vivian Johnson, Michael Gray, and DQ. And I do want to thank all my Patreons that are at the Barrington Street level. There are a lot of them, so. But thank you guys for all your support. And I do have three new members on channel membership as well. So any support that you can give to the channel goes towards buying equipment and helping with my data plan with TELUS because I do live stream. That's my new thing that I like to do, so. And make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Get those notifications. All right, my lovelies. Stay safe, wear your mask, wash your hands, and hand sanitize when you can't wash your hands. I will see you on my next video. Bye.